Hey, I'm Ben Heyman, and spring is here. It's a perfect time to give your lawn a little TLC to have it looking great, but most importantly, strong and healthy for the summer months. The very first step is to identify what type of grass you have so we can get the correct grass seed for oversowing. If you're unsure, then you can take a photo or a sample to your local nursery and have them identify it for you. Once identified, buy enough seed to cover your intended area. The packer or supplier will have a simple application rate per square metre. Now for the top dressing. I recommend using a specific topsoil and not garden soil because it's better for the seeds to germinate in, it's easier to level out and you won't be mowing over little humps and clumps in the future. We only need a thin layer of top dressing, around 10 to 20 millimetres. So ask your supplier to work out the quantity by giving them the square metres of your lawn. The easiest way to measure out your lawn is by stepping out the length and width. Now we get to the physical stuff, aerating. Aerating your lawn is so important because it allows the lawn to absorb water, oxygen and nutrients much easier and helps break up compacted soils in high traffic areas. To aerate, I use a fork and I go to a depth of around 10 to 15 centimetres and ideally 10 to 15 centimetres apart. This can be very labour intensive, especially if you have a large area or hard soil. There are other alternatives though. There is a water weighted tow behind aerator for the ride or mower, a motorised lawn corer, and of course, the strap on shoe spike so you can do a little dance for your neighbours. Once you have aerated your lawn, I like to throw out a light layer of organic pellet fertiliser, and then a light layer of grass seed. This gives the new grass seed nutrients to help them grow, whilst feeding the existing lawn underneath. We now top dress the lawn, making sure we don't go too thick and smother it, there should still be a good amount of grass showing through the topsoil. If you have any low points or divots, this is the exception to the depth. Fill them all the way in until they are level with the ground and then step to compact slightly. Once I have leveled it all with my metal rake, I then throw out all of my seed at the recommended application rate. I then rake it over once more with a plastic rake to cover some of the seed with the soil. Now I give it a really good drink with Hoselink Seaweed Tonic to encourage seed germination. It's really important to keep the seed and top dressing moist, but not too wet. If it's watered too much, it will create little rivers and dams and the seed will wash away and germinate unevenly. If you don't water it enough, the seed will dry out and die, or the birds and ants will take it away. So that's it. You should have your new lawn coming up in two to three weeks. So hold off on the mowing as long as possible so you don't risk losing any of the freshly germinated seed. Once developed, I recommend using Hoselink's lawn fertilizer every six weeks through the growing season. I know it's a bit of a labor intensive job, but trust me, your lawn will love you for it and you'll be so glad you did come the summer months. <laughs>